always us, never always them. Us. Never them. Uh. Look. As a youngin', I admitted I was on the edge. Demon on my shoulder mixed with mama said. Heart had my body playing Simon Says. God ain't talking back, pray align me to the fed. Same when there's homies round, same when nobody there. Main thing, looking tight, best believe I got a spare. Seek what you complaining for, you know don't nobody care. Real kings go. YouTube, what's happening? It's your guy Hitch. Happy holidays to everyone. If it were 2016, these black Pharrell human race NMDs would be selling like hotcakes. His OG colorways are still valued anywhere between over five to seven hundred dollars. But nowadays, nobody cares and nobody's paying attention to what Adidas is doing unless it's a pair of Yeezys. And these are actually a solid pair of kicks. If you've seen any of the previous Pharrell NMDs, then this shoe should look very familiar to you as it's the same sneaker, just different colorway. The upper is a black prime knit that is breathable, it's stretchy and comfortable. When you wear the sneaker, the upper really hugs your feet like a pair of socks. And down in your toe and midfoot area, you then have your embroidered Chinese lettering and print that means human race. So these are going to come laced with white laces that have 3M silver accents and there's an additional pair of laces in the box that are black that have 3M silver accents as well. So for me, that is a double win. I love 3M. I love having additional laces for my kicks, which is great. Now, there is something that I've never really been a huge fan of this silhouette for and that is the lacing system. And that is because I don't like tying my laces. And I can't do that with this pair because they don't look good that way. But on top of that, with this lacing system, all the laces are jumbled on top of one another. And it's not something that I'm a big fan of, but it's different and it has been growing on me. These have a booty design, which for most sneakers mean that you're probably gonna break your foot trying to put them on, but that is not the case here. The prime knit is stretchy, so it's a bit easier to put them on. However, on the inside of the sneaker, it is super bare. You're essentially walking on your boost. There is just a very thin layer of felt material that's laying on top of the boost and it has your Adidas logo and different body parts that are gonna be printed on it. Back on your heel area, you have two tabs. On the left tab, you have your human race Adidas logo with Pharrell's name at the bottom. And on your right tab, you have the traditional Adidas logo. But what I do love is that both tabs have 3M. Again, I love 3M. It's a perfect accent, perfect feature for such a simple colorway. Below your prime knit upper and below that TPU lacing cage is going to be your black boost midsole. It's a decent amount of boost, giving you that comfort. And then below that, you have a very thin outsole that's in black as well with your Adidas branding in the midfoot area. These are my first pair of Pharrell Human Race NMDs and I'm happy with them. However, they may be my last. And the reason that is, is for the same reason I believe people do not care about what Adidas is doing right now unless it's Yeezy related and it's because they're not evolving with their shoes and that's why they haven't been competitive in the market for four years. This sneaker originally released in 2016 and it's the same exact shoe, just different colorway and that's just not good enough. They need to make some enhancements, maybe some changes or come out with another Human Race NMD2 or something along those lines. But that's enough of my tangent. That's just my personal opinion with Adidas. But like I said, it's a solid sneaker. They're super comfortable. They're not ultra boost comfortable, but they're great. The only other thing that you gotta keep in mind is they're not true to size. I wear eight and a half, these are a size eight. I went down a half size and they still have a little bit of space in them and I have a wide foot. So if you have an hour foot, you definitely gotta go down a half size. You may even need to go down a whole size. Retail on these were 220, which is a bit steep. There's also a white pair that just dropped as well. Retail on those is the same. And they didn't sell out. There are some retailers that still have these. So if you are looking for a pair, follow me on Instagram, shoot me a DM, and I'll help you out in getting you a pair. Now, scale of one to five, I'm going with a three, solid three, comfortable sneaker. They look good. Hit the comments. Let me know what you think about them. Happy holidays. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that little notification bell. And I'm out. Hustle, I dare you to grind, shine, embracing your struggle. Depression, a fine line, it's over for humble. Tell niggas I won't mind, they dudes on
front line, receipts got blood signed, eh? Hustle, I dare you to grind, shine, embracing your struggle. 